make a circular pattern. It would be nice to have some pattern around this tea kettle. And in this case, uh, if I would like to make a pattern that would go all the way around, you see it's not much space here. But um, maybe we'll find a solution anyway. So let's find a plane to make a sketch on. So again, I hover above the plane until I find the correct plane that I would like to work on. So right here, I would like to make a laser beam that takes off a little bit of material. So I go for features and find extruded cut. And because the plane is already selected, we go straight into the sketch. And we could also use space bar and go flat here. Or you could also choose uh, to click in the top of the work area here. And you could do the same. So in this case, you could choose this right view or you could choose normal too. Uh, each time you do that, it flips 180 degrees. So if you for some reason would like to have the spout on the other side, you could just go one more time and then it flips to the other side. And we'll make uh, a little laser beam that will go in here and take off a little bit of material. So everything inside here will be taken off. So I will not put in any dimensions here. I'm thinking I could adjust this later. So I, I let it just be floating there in space. And when I go out from the sketch, you can see in the corner that it looks different. We go into the feature mode and it's cutting in one direction here. But I would like to be sure that it goes in both directions. And we could just turn on direction two on the left view pane, but we could also look what possibilities we have here to do it differently. So here we could choose mid plane and then it will go in both direction equally. And then we could just choose to have a safe extra big uh, laser beam there. Another possibility would be to choose through all both, which means it's sensing how far it needs to go. In this case, it goes as far as the tea kettle is big. So you can choose between these two here. And here it went to direction two. I will, I will go back to the same mid plane that I used earlier and accept. And now, we realize, oh, it goes in there. That's maybe not what I wanted. And that's because we had the shell command uh, earlier. So just think about the possibility if we could have made this cut here before we made the shell command. Uh, if you turn on the cross section here, it, it will be extra obvious that this, this right now has some, some problems here. Okay. But let's say we could make a thickness here before. So let's see what happens if we try to move this laser beam in the window here, the tree manager. And think about the possibility to do it before the shell. It's all depending on relationships if this is possible or not. But I will just grab this one and try to move it before the shell command. And we get a warning there, sorry, can't do it. Okay, so I will delete this one. And let's see if we could just move the sketch. Um, that we could do, so I can move the sketch here before the shell command. And I could use the timeline here to go back in time. So just before the shell, it looked like this. And I, I still have the sketch there. Remember, I moved it up here. So we could we could reuse this sketch. I select it and go for extruded cut and accept this laser beam. So now we will cut again, exactly the same thing, but we will do the cut before uh, the shell command. And that looks a little bit funny, the cross sectioning here. So, oh, of course. 
we need to go in both direction. I just forgot. So mid play and accept. Oh, that looks better. So I'm aiming for this kind of bump here all the way around. And now if we turn on the cross section, it's completely solid here. So uh, now there is no problem with the thickness there yet. Let's try to do a pattern. So we would like to revolve around the center and have this bump going uh, around the tea kettle. So now we'll go for circular pattern. So if you go up in the feature uh, menu here, we just need to search for pattern. And here we have linear pattern, and if I open this up, we find circular pattern. And SolidWorks would like to know the direction here, the axis. Uh, right now, this one is blue, so maybe we could start with this. And uh, it says feature, so we could also pattern bodies. Uh, but right now, we go for feature, which is suggested. So I just click on this feature, this cut here, cut extrude the laser beam. So that's the one I would like to pattern. And then I go up again and decide for a center axis here. We could turn on the temporary axis, or we could try to find something that is cylindrical. And SolidWorks will find the middle axis automatically. So uh, remember, what, whatever you click on now will make a relationship. So if you now click on the knob here, it, it might be unwise to do that. So. We can see if it works, yeah. So if I click on this, it finds a circle of thing, it finds an axis and it starts to make a pattern here. But instead of clicking on this and making a connection to something that we might like to delete or something later on, we could have turned on temporary axis. Um, but I know that this, this could be improved, but I will, I will still continue, but we know that, that could be better. So here in the pattern, we could ask for more of these. And we could also, instead of choosing a certain degree here, we could say equal spacing, and then it will go all the way around. And here we could see that it, it collides with the handle. So if I go one more here, it goes in a little bit there. Let's see what happens. If I choose another value here, so if I go for three, then we're okay, but it would be nice to have a little bit more of these. So maybe we could make this a little bit tinier. So if I, we could actually accept this and we could also make it more visible by changing the shaded view here to the normal, which shows uh, a black line there at borders. So I will, I will tweak this feature a little bit. So I go into the tree here and right click and then I can go in and edit the sketch. Uh, and in this case, it could be nice to go flat here. So it's easy to see. So if we shrink this one and we could actually have a dimension here now. So let's say we go for 30 millimeter and then we move it in, escape to get out of the dimensioning function and then come on escape again and now we should be able to move in so I just move in a little bit there and accept that and then it update the pattern and now if I click on the pattern we could go back here and see that this is the circular pattern that we could adjust so I go to edit feature and this is the good part with parametric modeling it's quite easy to go back adjust. So now we could have five pattern things here. It's quite close there. Uh, we could also choose another uh, number and just say don't don't do that one. So we could actually try to go for a higher value something like that maybe. So if we accept this we will have an issue with the, with the handle. But we could say that pattern this, but skip this part here. So if we go into the window, we could choose to skip some of the instances. 
So if I open up instances to skip, then I get a little dot. So if I click on that dot, it means that that one will not be patterned. So you could actually make a pattern and then you could throw away some of the patterns. Okay, great. Accept this pattern. And now we have a nice pattern there. Uh, let's say we would like to put a fillet on this. So if I choose a fillet and click on the edge here, and we smoothen that edge a little bit. We could also go maybe a little bit tinier. So maybe five. So if I accept that, we could just go around and fill it every single one here. But if you have a huge pattern, you could instead have this fill it inside the pattern. And to be able to do that, the fillet needs to be existing before the pattern. And so we could just delete this, go back in time and redo. But we could also try to move this up. And if you succeed to do that, we have the fillet before the pattern. And then if I go into the pattern, we could add this feature. So if I make this blue, we could add a second feature. So if I click the fillet here, that one will also be filleted. Sorry, patterned. And now if I accept this, we have got a fillet very quickly everywhere. So that's super nice. And uh, this is still solid. So uh, let's see what happens if we take the timeline and move it all the way down. And it's not always that it works. So let's see. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. So now we have equal thickness there. And that's because now, now the shell command comes afterwards. So that's perfect.